Hey, welcome back this morning. We're in the book of Philippians, chapter 3, and our reading takes us today to verses 10 and 11. Let's read it, and then we'll think about it. Here's what Paul wants. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Now, there's some business in this section that is so important. might be the most important part of the book. There's something at least that's very important for us in this age, and here we have it. When we are joined to him, that we may know him and the power of his resurrection. No, but nobody's against that, right? We're all for that. I want to know Jesus. I want to know the power of his resurrection. But there's something coming up here that's a bit of a problem for some of us. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nobody told me about that. The fellowship of his sufferings? Jesus had some... some deep and wide sufferings, right? Nobody could measure with his sufferings. Fellowship with him and his sufferings? You know, we might say, well, wait a minute, I, I didn't sign up for that. But Paul says you do. When you accept Jesus, when you accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior, you're signing up, yes, yes, it says, to know him, to know the power of his resurrection, but also to have fellowship in his sufferings. This is something that is very important for our generation here in the 2020s. Are we willing to have fellowship with Jesus in his sufferings, being conformed, it says, to his death. And what was the death of Jesus? Jesus always denied anything that would rise up there and intervene between the Father's will for him. Do you remember Jesus' temptations in the wilderness? Make the stones into bread, you know, come down off this pinnacle and uh, uh, glide in like Superman, you know, bask in that. Those kinds of temptations that we read about there, those temptations, Jesus laid them all aside. Jesus would not respond to any of those things. He was completely ready to suffer. It says here, being conformed to his death. Jesus was completely always dead to self. Every morning when you or I rise in the morning, we need to ask God to let Jesus be our Savior again. We want to be converted again every morning, and we want to die to self every day. Don't you believe Jesus is ready every morning to be completely given over to the Father? So we want to die to self every morning and be conformed to his death. In other words, be totally, absolutely, completely on the Father's side, doing the Father's will. And God will bless that. And then we'll experience the first part of our reading, to know him and the power of his resurrection. And Paul says, if any by any means I could attain to the resurrection from the dead— there's going to be some challenges along the way. There's going to be some trials and, and a, a bit of a journey to get there. We're not earning our salvation. We've just talked about that the last couple of mornings. But you know what? It's going to cost us something to be all the way over onto Jesus' side. So I hope you're ready to add to your Christian experience. Maybe you've never thought of it before. Add to your Christian experience the expectation and a willingness and a readiness, not only to know him, not only to know the power of his resurrection, but also to know the fellowship of the sufferings of Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you are right, you are good. That's why you fully accept Jesus. Jesus is our righteousness. Lord, we, many of us have signed up for Christianity, and we sort of got the, uh, we didn't get the whole story. We weren't told about having a fellowship with Jesus, to be, to be conformed to his death. And yet there it is in the word, Lord, and it is a special opportunity, a special privilege for us to put everything on the altar for Jesus. So now, Lord, help us to come up to this line. Help us to be ready to share in the fellowship of the sufferings of Jesus, Lord, so that our hearts can be purified and we could become more like him and echo back into this world that which it so, so severely needs, a heart that is in combined with your heart. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, and we pray it seriously, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, this is a solemn one today, but what a treasure and what a privilege to imagine that in some respect you or I could join in the fellowship of the sufferings of Jesus. May it be true for you and me with all the help God will give us and all the strength he will give us and all the blessing that will doubtless come with it. God be with you today.